Zagaravia, the fallen city, the land of no return, where darkness won and we demon hunters lost. One year ago, a plea for help summoned hunters to Zagaravia. Many answered the call. No one returned. I thought Adrian dead, until a raven delivered his message. He too summoned me to Zagaravia. He saw what I seek. Adrian is a friend, one of the precious few I have, and the only man who knows of my past, of the pact I made, and the demon powers I wield. Whatever haunts this cursed city, I will face to find my friend. The city is eerily quiet, not a human soul in sight. Monsters have claimed the streets. Dim lights shine through the dusty windows. I wonder what horrors hide behind them. I sense something hidden, something far more sinister than the monsters, something faint, like a whisper in the back of my mind. Hello? Who goes there? Hello? Can you hear me? A voice in my head? What else? If you can hear me, jump now. Good boy. Now roll over. <laughs> Just kidding. I know this place. You're getting closer. Come on, open that door. Oh, watch out, Hunter. Those dummies look tough. They outnumber you. You should consider retreating. <laughs> Look at those dummies with their red eyes and long noses. They're laughing at your feeble attacks. <laughs> Wait, are you still fighting the dummies? 
Come on, put your back into it. Hit harder. Oh, a demon power. Where did you learn to do that? Hmm. Anyway, come. Meet me in the next room. I'm trapped in that box. Come on. Wait, that's not me. Oh well, I must be in another dungeon. <laughs> I sense something shiny nearby. Let me give you a hint. It's bigger than a spider, but it is also full of treasure. And it is sitting on top, looking down at you. Seriously, you give up on the treasure? There's something about that voice. Something I can't quite place. I've fought and slain many monsters in my line of work. The ones that talk are always the worst. There are survivors after all this time. Castle Zagora still stands, a refuge from the horrors outside. Oh, great. Another hunter comes to save the day. Maybe we stand a chance against the countless hordes now. Or maybe you'll just die like all the others. My name is Victor Vran, and I didn't expect this kind of warm welcome in Zagoravia. I'm looking for a friend. I won't stay a minute longer after I find him. Listen, Vran. I don't care. Just one rule. Don't promise the impossible to Her Majesty. Every day I endeavor to convince her to give up hope of saving this city. And with you around, she will become even more determined to stay and die in this cursed castle. If Welcome to Zagoravia, Hunter. Thank you for answering our summons and bringing your sword to our cause. Soon we will push back the enemy. If you hurry, you will be rewarded. Your Majesty, I would gladly see you to safety. It is not safety that we want. We are going to win this war, and free my kingdom from the demons. No further help is coming, Your Majesty. What brought me here is the fate of a fellow hunter by the name of Adrian. You may believe no help is coming, and have given up, but we stand strong. But if it is your friend you seek, you must go south, to the Royal Gardens. Thank you, Your Majesty. The Queen is strong-willed. It must be how she got this far. But it changes nothing. The city is overrun. I'm back. Did you miss me? 
<laughs> I know you missed me. Now that I think about it, we weren't properly introduced. You can call me Voice. I'm currently without a body. So, this seems to fit. Now, what should I call you? John. No, you don't look like a John. Victor? Well, that's just stupid. Yenadi? No. That doesn't suit you either. I know, I'll call you Vicky. Yes, that seems to fit perfectly. <laughs> Oh, I sent something young and delicious up ahead. I'll go and introduce myself. Don't be jealous, Vicky. I'll be back.
and here I thought I was the last living hunter in this damn city. Victor Vran, just arrived. Don't plan on staying long. <laughs> That's what I said when I arrived a year ago. Yet, here I am, still killing demons and trying to make sense of what happened. Do you know a hunter by the name of Adrian? I've heard of him, but we never cross paths. The only hunters I've seen recently lie lifeless. You could check the crypts. I haven't been down there for a while. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. There are demons everywhere. Thank you. I didn't catch your name. Because I didn't say it. My name is Irene. See you around, Victor Vran. Trying to make sense of what happened. Hmm. She has another reason to stay here this long, I'm certain. Irene paints a bleak picture. Zagoravia is lost. The smell hits you right away. Not the stale, dry smell of a tomb. No, this is another all too familiar smell. The smell of rotting flesh. Another dead body. Could that be Adrian? One of ours has fallen here, but it isn't Adrian. I will cleanse this tomb so you can rest in peace, brother. The death of a hunter is like the death of a brother or sister. We mourn and raise a toast to celebrate the deeds and lives of those we lose.
like the gods, you came to save me. I was, I was on patrol with some of the hunters. You just ran and left the hunters to die? Well, you, you see, I, I, I'm, I, I'm a coward, and that has kept me alive in this hell. I, I was... Even a coward's life will feed the evil brewing here. I've cleared the way to the castle. You can go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I promise I'll find a way to repay you. Adrian is a skilled hunter, but can he survive this place? And why would he keep fighting for a lost cause? You know, I used to be a hunter like you, until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Vicky. I'm way too witty to be a hunter. that glowing blue fellow. The day is done, and the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. Wait, don't go. Was it something I said?
locked. Is it to keep people out or to keep something in? Have you changed your mind, Hunter? Will you join our fight? The city is lost, Your Majesty. You should find a way to safety. Battles are won by brave and noble men who see beyond their own immediate needs. In time, you will realize that we have no other option but victory. So, what brings you here before me? I seek permission to enter the royal crypt, Your Majesty. These are difficult times, and we need every man. If you report what you find there, you have my permission. Feel free to leave with me any item you don't immediately need, sir. You will find it in the same or better condition when you come back. Another dead body. This is fast becoming a common sight. I fear that someday I will get used to death. Then I would be no different than the monsters I fight. Something doesn't make sense. So many dead hunters, killed off one by one. Something is stalking these halls. retreat and regroup. What was keeping them in this cursed city? The pieces are forming a disturbing pattern. for a specific reason, Victor. Come down, and I will tell you. Adrian, brother, what has become of you?
the time of the hunters is over, Victor. This city will be their grave. I can make you stronger than you can imagine, Victor. A single bite, Victor. That's all it takes. You are blind, Victor. Like I was before I received this gift. Give in and I will make you see, old friend. This city holds great power, Victor. Join me, and we can take it for ourselves.
We always knew this could happen, old friend. That we become monsters ourselves, that we fall to the darkness. Rest in peace, brother. The survivors are gathered around the war table. There's tension in the air. There's also fear. There are not enough guards to hold the castle. Irene has been missing for a while now, and they think that I've left them for good. The Queen still insists on continuing the fight. She asks them to do the impossible. What they need now is a sliver of hope. I've changed my mind. I'll stay. At last you see. We will overcome the invasion. This is not an invasion. I now know what is happening here. The city is a trap. A trap for hunters. And what would you do? Spring the trap. <laughs> 